What is going on guys? Today we are going to talk about what happens when the market crashes and is the market going to crash? So with that being said guys, let's jump on the computer and let's get into this video. Yo, I've been getting dirty money, Jordan Belfer. Stacking penny stocks while I'm flipping these birds. Sipping on Ciroc, trip them up with the words. I just popped the molly and I think it's be my third. Okay guys, what is going on? So you're in this portion of the video where we're going to talk about the market. So I got a few of them popped up right now. Um, this is not really what I wanted, by the way. This is the Dow Jones Industrial Index, and this is the S&P 500 ETF Trust. So this is a major market maker as well. Excuse these lines. Um, let's just clear the draw set here for you guys. Um, my dog's in the background, so I am sorry if you guys do hear a little bit of crying from her. Um, but this is really what we're looking at. So you guys think everybody's saying that the market's going to crash here. So let's let's look at a little bit longer of a chart. I think this one will do for right now. Um, we can also go on back to a three year. And as you guys can see, we are up quite a bit. We even hit some, we even went below support and then broke back out of some support right in here. We're actually back on our way up. We're looking to possibly go to the highest point again here within possibly the next few days, even possibly. Um, now, let's go over to the Dow Jones. Um, as you can see, it's pretty close to the same chart if you guys look at it. I mean, do you guys see really any difference other than SPY is actually already popped up past this? And this, the Dow Jones is really just trying to get past this part right here. SPY's already kind of made it past, so the Dow actually may be a good buy right now because SPY's already passed it. I think the Dow Jones is actually going to pass it. I think SPY is going to test this high right here. Um, is the recession coming? Now, when you're looking at these charts, you would think, well, last time we had highs, we we had a huge drop off. So why wouldn't we? Um, the biggest thing is right now. Um, I know you guys don't want to talk politics. I really hate talking politics. But when it comes down to the market and trading stocks and making money, there is politics in it. There's big money politics. There's all of it combined into one, and that's really what I'm here to talk about today. Um, I I'm an independent person. I don't trade Republican. I don't trade straight Democrat. I don't do that kind of thing. Um, I did vote for Trump. I will admit to that just based on money-wise and business-wise and the economy-wise. Guys, since he's been in, since he has taken over, I have made exponentially more money, guys. And I'm not, and when he first got in, guys, I was just starting. You guys have to remember that. I, I started when Obama was in, um, but this isn't going to be just about presidency. Um, you guys got to realize there's sentence and everything else that goes into it in order to get bills passed and stuff like that. But the tariffs right now lately have been a huge factor in the market. Um, everybody says every time Trump tweets, um, everything happens and everything's up in the air. And, and I agree. Every time he tweets, there is something you guys see. You guys can't really see it down in here. Don't blink. That's when, no, you guys, I'm cutting it off because um, I'm down in here. But there, all the news right here, there's always news going on with it because every time he tweets, every time something happens in the market, there's something going on. Um, but with that being said, is the market going to crash? I think the market's going to crash, but not anytime real soon. I think we got years before the market actually crashes. Um, Trump has done a great job. Hey, no, no, no. Sorry, guys. Um, but I think Trump has done a great job keeping the market up, creating new highs, and that's something that you really want because that means more people are spending money. Well, you guys, the problem is, is when everybody sees the we're going to a recession and we have not hit a recession yet at all, um, just so you guys know by definition. Um, but everybody thinks that we're going to a recession. So people are stop spending money. They've stopped putting their money in the market a little bit. They're a little bit more scared. They're a little bit more worried about their money. And I think that should have happened a long time ago, to be honest with you. Everybody should be worried about their money and where they're putting their money, how they're putting it, and um, can you really afford that brand new car? Can you really afford to go out to eat and spend $100 extra um, when you guys want to retire? People talk about retirement all the time. Um, that becomes one of the biggest parts of it. 
Now, when it comes down to this market, I think this market's strong right now. I think we're doing all right. Um, I think the problem will become Trump is such a business person. If another business person doesn't step into office, that we are going to see possibly a recession. I do believe that um, just because Trump has held our market up up and doing really well for itself because he is such a business person and he's trying to bring as much back to the United States. Don't get me wrong, I'm 100% a capitalist. Um, I believe in making money. Um, I don't believe paying the Bernie Sanders taxes that he wants to pay. Um, I, I agree with some of the stuff Bernie Sanders say. Again, you can pick pieces from every politician that you want and agree with them. Um, what I'm going to do here is just kind of look over here um, let's go down to a five minute five day chart so index funds is what a lot of people are going to recommend you to trade I don't trade those guys um, the Dow Jones guys look at this gap up here that is dollars that this thing gapped up here we're not talking 50 cents to a dollar, we're talking dollars, and that's a huge factor. And let's go three years to a week. Actually, no, I wanted to go to the 100, 180 day chart. The low, everybody says buy low, sell high. So if you guys are worried about a recession, here is the perfect example right here buy low, sell high. Now, how do you know that it's low? I, if you guys don't watch Meet Kevin, I think it's a great thing to watch. Um, now, he doesn't believe in absolutely everything that I believe in when it comes out of trading stocks, but he does invest into the stock market rapidly. Um, and he buys stocks because he's holding them for long term on red days. And that's what I would always recommend do it, doing because you know you're getting it at a better price. Buying stocks on red days if you're holding for long term is a great thing because it only has so many red days in a row before it pops back up green and you're making money. Um, when it comes down to the overall market, though, and everybody's saying recession, I don't think we're having a recession. Um, that's really just my opinion. Everybody has a different opinion. Um, if you guys know the definition of a recession, we are not in a recession. With that being said, though, we are climbing to this high again, guys. And that is the really biggest thing. That is the biggest thing for me right now. Now, again, we did have a green day, it looks like, here on Friday, technically. If you go to it, let's go to the one year, one day. Oh, technically Friday was a red day. Okay, so Friday may not have been a bad day to buy because I think we are going to pop up and try to hit this 302.23 um, sooner than later. Now, I'm not saying that we're going to break through it. Um, bad news could happen. Things could happen that possibly push it back down, guys. I'm not going to say that the market's going to go up or going down right now at this point. I'm saying we are holding a good market lately, and we have bad days. We have good days. That's anything, um, whether you're a salesman, whether you're a Fortune 500 company, you have good days, you have bad days, and you roll with the punches still. Um, but with that being said, guys, there's no real indicator that we're going into a recession right now other than there has been some Fed stuff, but the Fed's are actually trying to get more people to spend money, and that's actually a great thing with lowering interest rates. Um, inflation is a big problem as well, guys. So you guys got to remember those people that had 401ks way back when, and they made a ton of money, and that's awesome for them. But now inflation is killing our everybody's 401ks, and that's why I tell everybody not only inflation, fees, and stuff like that, but there's enough of it where you're really not making a whole lot of money, and that really does kill people's 401k. I don't have a 401k. I believe if you're going to do a 401k, though, you should probably do it through Fidelity. Because they have free where you can buy them index funds. Now let's go back to the my style of trading. Um, we're gonna go to a five day, five minute chart. Um, there has been trades to make every single day here, as you can see. And they're simple trades. They're not overcomplicated. Spy is a little bit of a slower mover, I like to say. Um, it's a little bit more just gra gradually going up and down now, this was a hard fall here and this was a really big push but again for the rest of it it's kind of slowly down pops back up a little bit slowly down grinds it back up and so on and so forth 
And that's really what you're looking at um, when it comes down to day trading these things because you guys can day trade the actual market when you're using options. With that being said, guys, let's go on to the video. Um, I'm going to take you along with me for the rest of the day, though, and see what we can do for you guys. The market is not crashing yet. Get that out of your head. It's going to be a while before it does, I believe. Um, if you guys have any opinions on it, let me know. Just comment below, and I'd be more than happy to discuss them with you.